W-O-C-A. Ocala. All right, Jim George is in the studio, and we're going to talk about science, especially as it applies to our entertainment desires. Jim is the owner of American Cable Services, and he's the guy who makes sure that we have what we want in our homes when it comes to entertainment, whether it's the TV, the cable, the, the antenna, the, uh, the devices, and the technology, and he answers all the related questions, and I'm guessing you get them constantly. Good morning, Jim. How are you doing? Good morning. Fine. All right. There you are. Try now. Good morning. See, Thank is, you. This is my technology. I got to turn up a knob in order, in order to hear you. Have you heard about the touch technology? The Tusk? Touch, where where um, you you'll be able to actually feel things now over the internet. Feel things over the internet? No, I haven't. <laughs> that's, that's that's a little scary. The com- the commercial shows a guy uh, playing uh, what was that like volleyball or something? Yeah. And the and the ball's coming across. It's a game, a video game, and the ball comes across the net, and he he hits the air. And what you're looking at is a guy just hitting the air, but what he feels is a ball hitting his hands. Wow. No, I haven't heard about that. How the heck does that work? Like 3D awesome. t- 3D TV. Plus feel. Plus feel. Well, remember how, uh, what was it, uh, some of the theaters had the uh, the, the smell, smell of vision Remember that? Where if, if you were at a, at watching a movie and it, people were frying <laughs> bacon and eggs, the smell of bacon and eggs was in the theater? I oh would that apply to like uh, Blazing Saddles? Could they do <laughs> <laughs> the bean scene? Oh boy! <laughs> so no, I the only smell I ever smell at a movie theater uh, is popcorn. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so so in, in Back to the Future, I think they go into a movie theater, don't they? In that movie, uh, is a movie in a movie? Yeah, I believe that yeah. was correct. So there movie you go. Within a movie, so, so then you had smell of vision right there. <laughs> oh wow! But can, I mean, can you imagine actually being able to feel? Something online in in the air, in midair, right. not on your screen, but it somehow projects onto your hand or well, your face or whatever. I, it was interesting to hear you talk about what Disney is up to. That yeah. thing too, yeah, the bracelet. Right, it pays for everything. You can pay for everything with your bracelet. Well, you know, you can do it with your credit with your uh, cell phone now. I guess you know that, right? You can use your cell phone to barcode and see what something costs. You don't have to go up front. Oh, wow. Yep, you just, no, I didn't know yeah, that. You just get an app. I did not know and that. And you no. go up to an item, and you know how they're always saying at Sears or someplace, a help needed on aisle 17. You yeah, know, right, right, right. And you go there and because you want to scan an item or target. Now you can scan it yourself with your own barcode app, and you'll know what it costs. And if you want to pay for it, you can pay for it with your cell phone. All you have to do is take your cell phone and put it across the little sensor. Oh, wow. And Because the barcode will come up on your app on your cell phone and you'll swipe it and it'll read it and it'll deduct it automatically from your cell phone account. Wow. So they have that. So to put it on a bracelet was really interesting. That is, and you know, they spent like a billion dollars on this. So I'm thinking, yeah. wow, they're, they're, well, what they're hoping is that people will spend more money because it's, yeah. it's easier to spend money. Yeah, because you don't want to carry a wallet with you and have to reach for it and have someone maybe pick your pocket. Did you hear the other part though about being able to reserve time for a ride? Like, yeah. Like days in advance. Yeah. So I'm sure you go online when you um, uh, purchase this band, this uh, bracelet, and you go to rides and you say, okay, I'll be there at 10 o'clock and maybe a window of opportunity of 10 minutes on either side. A little, little margin yeah. of error, yeah. 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 Interesting. Um, very interesting. I hate the lines. It's, my, it's the one thing I... One reason I stay away from theme parks is because of those lines. It's like, what's right. the point of... Who wants to go pay $100 to go to a park and if you're there, let's say eight hours, or let's say twelve hours, let's say you're you're really putting in a whole day, right? Right. How many hours are you actually online? Probably six of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I bet you. But you know, some technology is not necessarily good. Take the technology that automatically turns a light out in your room when there's no motion. I'm working on our new head in our data center. We're spending maybe a half a million dollars, you know, on this data center. And if you make no movement, like let's say you're adjusting something, the light turns out. It's the middle of the night and the light turns out. And then you have to jump up and down and wave your hands, you know. Imagine if you're in a bathroom the same way. You go to a bathroom, like at the mall, uh-huh. and when you walk in the door, ta-da, the light turns on. You go in the stall and you're there for a minute. Maybe the cell phone rings, so you answer it. The light turns off. 
Oh. Now it's pure black. <laughs> that, that's a technology gone wrong. You know. You guys can't jump up and down when you're you know, <laughs> using the. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> right. And, you know, there's just all type of uh, technologies that are just not necessarily winners. I guess that's probably true. Well, that's, how, that's the, uh, the beauty of, of capitalism is that things that are not winners will disappear. Right. Well, and I went to buy a part about a month ago at, at uh, Hughes Supply, electrical supply, a little small plastic part. And the guy said, well, yeah, that's a stocking item, but we're out. I don't know why we're out. They're supposed to send us to us automatically. So, well, do me a favor. I, I need some. So how about ordering some? He said, okay. Two weeks went by, and I called him. No, he didn't have it. I said, would you please order? I, I need some of these. So two months has passed, and I walk in there, and it's still not there. He says, the computer is supposed to automatically sense that we're out and order. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you know, there's a technology oh, no. gone wrong. The computer did not order an out-of-stock inventory. So I have a... So yes. I, did we ever talk about th- the 3D printers on this show? Uh, no, but I know of them. Okay, so wouldn't that be the solution to that problem? The plastic thing you need, you could actually make... Yes. ...with, with a 3D printer. Right. So you have a little disc, and you slide it in, and it reads it, just like you do the embroidering on your shirt. You know, they have these little surge machines, they yeah, call them, yeah. and you put the little logo in, and they'll, they'll print the logo. That have, is cool. So have you, have you actually seen, in, in, with your own eyes, not with a video, uh, a 3D machine? No. I haven't either. No. They sell them. On, I saw them on for sale. They're, they're not super expensive. I think they're under $1,000. But it does so much that two or three parts. But you know, you can make a plastic gun now. So what's? I mean, are we going to see the future with somebody? Yes, <laughs> I saw bad. that. Yes, oh. that's bad. But you could. I mean, you know how we used to hear about people sitting on the copy machine. Yeah. Can you imagine them sitting on a three D copy machine? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be interesting. That puts uh, a new spin on entrepreneurism. <laughs> how do you tear up a plastic butt? Yeah. You can tear you up a piece it. of paper. You Hurry up, tear it, it up before the boss gets yeah. you. So you can do busking with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Somebody might give you a few dollars for that. Are you going to be able to do that with your system? Was the American Cable System uh, have like, you know, um, where you enter a room and just say, turn on the television or turn on the computer? Verbally, uh, or, or, or go to channel 17. Yeah, there's, there's verbal like commands that. now, even for TVs that are out today, where you can say change the channel. As a matter of fact, you don't need a remote control. You can clap your hands or say on, and the TV will turn on. Wow. And if you want to change the channel, front or back, you wave it to the right, and the TV will go one channel higher. You wave your hand to the left, the channel will go one left. Lo- that, that's out now. Oh. Yeah, you probably okay. view that at Sears or H.H. H. Gregg or somewhere. There, there was a video game in uh, Stevie B's right down here, or right next door to the to the wall, mm-hmm. and it's got a big screen, and the kids are playing it, and it's their hands on the screen or in front of the screen. I'm not so yeah. sure, but right. it makes colors go everywhere. I don't know. I don't know exactly mm-hmm. how they play the game, but it's very cool, like mm-hmm. a kaleidoscope. Yep. So so let's talk about just the the interaction between video games and TV and video phone calls and all of the above. Do they all now come in through the same device? Can you actually set it up for that? So that so that you can answer your telephone on the TV? Everything. Yes. The, the, the games, the, the TV shows, everything you've got. Yes. Right this minute, you could be watching a TV channel, playing a game on the same screen, and if the phone rings... Uh, you can answer it and say hello, and they'll and you can talk to your TV. So they say PCs sales have gone down since mm-hmm. the introduction of the tablet. Yes. And so is the next step going to be where um, the big screen that you have as your entertainment center in your house is just another way to use your tablet? Just big. <laughs> everything will everything will talk to everything else. That's the that's the nature of the beast. They want everything to be on this, you know, to intermingle. You know, interrelated. Now, in, in the news this morning, there was a story about uh, uh, this um, group of decision makers in the world, I can't remember, I don't have it in front of me, where they were trying to d- diminish or eliminate missing people. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I thought? That whole biblical prophecy of everybody being labeled in some way? Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, yes. so so if you're lost, they'll know where you are. Right, right. Yeah, the, that uh, that's kind of scary, but the, to, ha- to be able to have everybody know where you're at you know i don't know if i'm improving uh and and i'm not happy with that up but if everybody knows where i am i'll just say now you know how boring i am (laughs) you haven't moved from your spot in 10 hours (laughs) are you dead are you okay yeah yeah Yeah. uh when when we hook up to your cable system and we do it through the computer and we have a laptop can we 
take that laptop to somebody else's house that doesn't have your cable system but turn it on and watch the program on your system? Yeah, there would be an app that you can download to your computer. And if you take your laptop, your computer, anywhere in the world, you can watch the channels that you subscribe to. Wow. But, it, what, but what will happen is it will sense that you're looking at us from a different IP address. Mm -hmm. In other words, you're across the country or wherever. And there will be a little pop-up screen that says, is this you? And if it is, would you please put your password in? Because oh. that would stop someone from t stealing your laptop or whatever. Plus, it would help us. If, if it was stolen, we would, and, and you, the guy did not put the password in, we could call you and say, hey, you, did you, uh, do you still own your computer? Did you sell it? Because we're sensing it's at this IP address. Wow. Oh, wow. That's awesome. You'd have a phone call, Jim. Uh, yeah. Good morning. Thank you for being patient. You're on the air with Jim George. Yeah, good morning, good morning. I don't want to tell you how old I am, but I remember when IBM computers and Univac computers would not talk to each other. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they uh, they were incompatible. Uh, that they One used round holes on their punch card. One used rectangular holes on their punch card. They had different machine language. I mean, <laughs> totally incompatible. Right. Everything's yeah. trying to be compatible nowadays. Wow, wow. But, you know, you still, Thank you. you still have Mac that's not compatible with, uh, you know, uh, Microsoft, let's say. You're still going to have some incompatibility. Uh, proprietary software only works on one item alone. So if computers can communicate with other computers, and if cars all have computers in them, Maybe this is the beginning to the end of accidents. Maybe there would be, or maybe ver almost no accidents. Maybe cars would say, well, you know, you're going you're gonna to have a collision. Let's stop now. Let's slow down now, or something like that. I mean, there might be something to that, where the, the future of driving is way safer because cars communicate with each other. You now, maybe one of the people we need to invite to come on the show is the people that are involved in the human cognizance over by where the whole library used to be. Yeah, right, you know, they, right, right. They have robotic uh, devices that think for themselves. So if this road is blocked, they'll go that road and those type of things. Isn't that amazing? And ask, you know, what, what, what are they actually up to? Yeah, yeah. Do, do you have customers who actually ask you to install entertainment systems in, like, RVs or, or maybe even in vans or even in cars? Right. Normally on a car or an RV, they go to the dealer. The dealer has all the proper oh, okay. uh, devices, not, ne not necessarily the electronic devices, but the hangers, the hooks, the, all the things that would make it fit snug against the wall and not come off when they turn left or turn right. In a home, the answer is yes. Everybody, uh, there's only a few people that, that want a real uh, entertainment room. As a matter of fact, my wife and I have talk, talked about it for years, but we don't watch TV that much. So to take a room and dedicate it, you know, darken the walls, put shades up, put a popcorn machine in there, let's say, put a 65 inch, you know, what would we be in there? An hour a day, if the most, maybe two hours a day, you know, so it would be a waste for us. So that's our family room now. So. I guess so. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. But oh. some people like that. Can um, home security come through your system also? Will, will, will that be a, a hub for the home security? Well, b being a internet connected device, anything that's internet connected could flow through it. Right now, it's just set aside for entertainment. Oh, okay. And education. Uh, we've been talking to a lot of universities. Let's let's just go back. Uh, you attended the university, uh, the Appalachian State University in Boone, North Carolina. You attended five years ago. But while you were there, you were a cheerleader or you were a wrestler or whatever. And um, and now you're married and have kids of your own. And the, and they say to you, uh, Dad, what did you do when you were in college? Mm -hmm. Well, you could go online to the Appalachian State University and hopefully find that archived video and show them. Well, we're getting oh. all those videos from the University of Florida, University of North Carolina. Oh, wow. And we're going to be creating that as an app on our device so if it was filmed 30 years ago you could go back 30 or 40 years ago and look wow, at yourself wow like time travel exactly big job have you ever seen that, that google feature i don't know if they took it off or not but you used to be able to like move a little bar across to do to a different year like let's say you were on google earth looking at manhattan or, or any city that's changed a lot right and you go back to like 1918 
it would show you what Manhattan looked like in 1918. Oh, well, no, I didn't. I, I wouldn't think that would be possible only because there was, it wasn't viewed from the same angle or from the same satellite. Or It wouldn't have been viewed from, yeah, no way. Yeah. So I, mean, I don't know how they did it. I guess it was all, Maybe it was what do you call it, gra- computer-generated yeah. things? Yeah, Art, artist graphics, yeah. Yeah, but they look so real. Oh, yeah. Well, they're claiming that, like, the life of Pi, I haven't seen it yet, but they say 90% of it was computer graphics. Really? Only 10% was real people. How long does a pie live? Wow. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> uh, will, there, will, will the video game systems be obsolete and be able to go into your system? Online video games will go into our system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, will be an app on it, and you can click on it, and you can play machine to machine, or you can play, that is, you can play the computer, mm-hmm. or you could play another person across the country. Will that be part of your a la carte feature? Yes, it would be a part of it. It won't be available for like year two or three because we're trying to get out into the out into the world, mm-hmm. and the gamers take up a lot of bandwidth. So oh. we'll we'll be streaming live videos, you know, of uh, Channel Two, Channel Six, USA Network, and such. And we want that to get out to the public first, and mm-hmm. then we'll add games as more people want to buy more bandwidth because it mm-hmm. takes a lot of bandwidth right now to play that. That's your phone, oh, isn't it? Gosh. Just, if if I were to ask wow. you or anybody, if you are a, do you read a lot? Most people would mentally think what books they read, right? Right. But the truth is, with the internet, we're reading constantly. If if you if you, exactly yeah yeah if you go to a website, you have to read. So uh, the library has. Um, the Kindle books that you can take out. Yes. And taking them out, it's, a, it's an interesting thing. You're not really taking anything anywhere. Right. And then it automatically disappears after, what, the borrowing time is over, yeah. two yeah, weeks? I think that's correct. I think it's like two weeks and then it disappears. <laughs> or you could, you could re-up it, you know, like pay a dollar or whatever to carry it another two weeks. Some small fee. I said a dollar. It could be ten cents. I don't. I don't know what the fee is. Can we do that with your system? Can we uh, purchase a uh, channel and then maybe program it for like two or three weeks, and then it automatically disappears, and then a new one that we've chosen can come in its stead? Yes. The idea is, um, if you have USA Network and Fox, and name three or four others, but you find after two or three days you're not really happy with uh, Pet TV. Let's say, see, Pet TV is a channel for your pet. It's not a channel for you. Oh. It's, it's got fish swimming like an aquarium, and your cat watches it. <laughs> it's got dogs running around, and your dog's supposed to watch it. And it's like a $6 channel. Well, once you've realized that you're paying $6 for this channel and you don't want it, all you do is go online, cancel Pet TV, let's say, and get Animal Planet instead. Uh-huh. And it will credit you the $6 because Animal Planet may only be $0.10. Cents. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. So you cool. could you could watch it for one day and then oh, yeah, wow, the wow. next day turn it off. Wow. And and you won't have to come to somebody's house. You won't need a technician to re revamp the box or no, anything. No. Everything's done online. You click it uh-huh. and everything's done by credit card. As a matter of fact, uh, we we will not have a billing software whatsoever. Everything will be done by software. Oh wow. Yep. Nice. All you'll do is click on what you want, and when you don't want it, you click it off. So all the cool things that we talk about, what's the big thing most people actually come to right now? Is it for the a la carte thing? The a la carte's the big thing. Nobody likes it. It sounds interesting that you have 149 channels, and you pay twenty nine ninety five to start. Let's say it's direct. And then six months later, that twenty nine ninety five is ninety nine ninety five. And but you still have 149. So you're saying that's less like 70 cents, you know, a channel. Right. But you're only watching 20 of them. Right. right, So why not just take 20 times 70 cents a channel and buy those? Mm Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right. And and are you the only one that does that? Is yeah. Right now we're the only one. uh, Everybody's trying to do it. Google, Apple, everybody. Uh, The holdup is not the technology. The technology's out there. The holdup is the programmers. They don't want you breaking up their channels. In other words, if I go to if I go to get Recipe TV, uh, which competes with the Cooking Channel and competes with the Food Channel, Recipe Channel will say, "Well, you have to carry us in the same tier that you carry those other two, so that we can compete with them side by side." And I say, "You don't understand. I'm not selling any of those channels. They're they're available." But if a person so wants you get the grief? food channel, they just get the food channel. That's it. So, Jim, do you actually get grief from the networks or, oh, or the channels? Whatever. Oh, they yes. Uh, there's lawsuits. They don't out like there. you doing that. Oh no. No, it's it's going to take Congress to break it up. And will they? They will. 
Yeah, McCain has already attempted. There was a meeting with the National Association of Broadcasters, the National Cable TV, um, and for and then in consumer groups. And the bottom line is, McCain said, "You got to break it up. You cannot force a, cust- a customer to take the channel they don't want in order to get the channel they do want." But you can force them to pay health insurance. Yes, you can force them. <laughs> yeah, to that's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. But you can't subscribe to. What did, what did you say earlier? Six people. Six people the first day. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was six, yeah. I, you know, that, that's, that, that's a bad rate. That's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it was only 200-something the second day, right? Yeah. What kind of marketing do you do, though? I know you go to the trade shows. Uh, what else do you do? We're not marketing our product presents? right now. It's going to be word of mouth because, like I said, in November, which is today, we're going to be launching about 25 people in the Ocala Palms area as Alpha. And they will have our box. And the whole idea is not to see how clear our channel is. It's to play with it. Um, Can they turn a channel on, turn a channel off at will? How does the screen look? How's the electronic programming guide look? Mm -hmm. You know, does it give you the information that's convenient for you to understand what it's about? And and then in December, we'll launch another 25 uh, in Ocala Palms. And we'll add the features that the other first 25 said they wanted. And then nothing in January, nothing in February, and by March, then we'll launch nationwide. Wow. And we already have over 150,000 subscribers that are pre-signed up. That's wonderful. So, so the day one when we launch, we'll be going nationwide. And They're going to want you. And US-wide. we got people in India who want our box, Brazil, all over. Wow. And we're bringing channels in from Brazil and from India. So let's assume that... Uh, you grew up in India, and you're you know here managing a Seven Eleven store, and a little Bollywood. Yep, and yeah. but you can't watch your own channel. Well, you can get it from Dish, or you can get it from Direct for thirty five dollars right. for that one channel. Wow, one channel thirty five. Yes. You can watch it from online for five. Wow, because uh. we still pay the same satellite time. You know, we we still have to. What is it with all the all the musicals in India? Have you have you noticed that? There's some great musical channels in India. <laughs> yeah, there are. <laughs> Yeah, they got that big thing going on over there, right? Yeah, with, with the musicals and yeah. But there are two hundred channels in Great Britain that are from Wales and Ireland and all over the Great, you know, the Isles, and they're all free. All really? two hundred channels are free, subsidized by the government because they have advertising on them. So I talked to the guy that's the Uplink facility in the UK, and I said, uh, "How do I get those?" He says, "If your satellite receiver will pick them up, you can have them for free." So we're making a deal right now to bring in 200 channels from Europe. So we could advertise wow. on your on your system as well, right? We You're going to have a free channel on our system. No, but w- I mean... WOCA will go around the world. Okay, but let's say we wanted to sell something. Yes. We could advertise. We could buy an ad, right? buy ad time, yep. So do you have a lot of people coming to buy ads? No, like I said, we're keeping a very low profile. This mm-hmm. is all hush hush. You guys are the only Ocala is the only one who knows about us. Okay. okay. But when we launch, the whole world will know. Why? Because we think, uh, first of all, the programmers will sue us. So there'll be lawsuits oh. going. You know. So they'll wow. say, Why are you breaking us up? Our contract calls for this and that and I'll say, Sue me. And then of course it'll go all the way to the Supreme Court and then the Supreme Court will say they're allowed to break you up. So, you know, get over it. Oh, wow. So you're a true pioneer in we this. Are. Wow, this could be a statue Gosh. of you somewhere. Yeah, the difference yeah. between pioneers is that, you know, we're, we get arrows in our back. Pioneers, they yeah. open the trail yeah. up, but they're the ones that get shot. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> Do you know if I've often wondered, and this is probably true for radio, too. Well, it is true. Let me think about it. Yes, it is true. Because what I was going to say is ads that you think would be not for your audience. Like somebody comes to you, like let's say you talk about an Indian channel. Right. They probably wouldn't want to advertise McDonald's because they have a, they sell beef, right? Yeah, could be, yep. So the, so even though McDonald's is a huge corporation, probably can drop a lot of money, they probably would still say, I'm sorry, we don't want to advertise beef on our network or whatever. Well, they may not want to have it. Uh, the, the best part about our network is because it's a la carte, that advertisement could go to uh, anywhere except India. Because we could just, it would not, we would not allow it to stream to India. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, you so if can the government it. was offended by something, we'd say, fine, we just stopped that advertisement. Oh. So a different huh. advertisement would take its time. Wow, that's pretty awesome. And it'd be all automatic. You wouldn't have to have a person like yourself bringing one, one advertisement off and right. injecting another advertisement. Like in the old days, we, every, everything was manual. And it'll be done by IP addresses. See, the thing is, that box has a distinct MAC address, and that MAC address is talking from an IP address, and that IP address, let's say, is sitting in India. So when the commercials come on, we would give non-offensive advertising to India. 
Oh my gosh, yeah. isn't that amazing? And plus it's a smart, it's smart advertising. If you watch USA Network and Fox movies and Turner Classic movies and American Classic movies, then the, the, we know that you're a movie buff. So what kind of advertisements are you going to get? It won't right. be hemorrhoid treatments, and it won't, you know, it'll be movie tickets. Watching it'll be, TV all the time, maybe even oh, hemorrhoid so treatments. it'll so be we, a smart thing. So we call that narrow casting instead of broadcasting. That's, oh. what I, that's why I oh. want it, my TV to think I'm a 19-year-old male. Yeah. <laughs> Viral. I, I wanted you to show me all those ads. Uh, all right. Uh, Jim, how do we get a hold of you if we want to maybe par- uh, subscribe, at least in the future? How do we do that? Yeah, in Ocala, it's 854 9795. And look into that a la carte. That seems, it's maybe not the, the most fascinating thing to talk about, but it's probably the most logical thing to get, right? Mm-hmm. Tell your neighbors, I only watch seven channels and I only pay for seven. There you go. There you yes, go. Hey. yes. Excellent. That, that's all you need is yeah, for that's, that's that, that little buzz to start happening. Exactly. All right. We'll take all a right. Thank you, Jim. We'll take a little break and be right back. Ocala's information station, 